Right, this is going to be a bit of a weird video, but it's what I want to do, and it's about what camouflage should you be wearing in the dark? Because this is a thing where lots and lots of people argue about this, and some people say things that are so stupid, it really makes me go, have you never tried any of this and you're giving advice on it? So, see, you're in the dark and don't want to be seen. What is the best thing to wear? Well, unfortunately, some people lead you to believe that black is the best colour to wear if you don't want to be seen in the dark, which is, like, the worst possible thing you can wear, as opposed to white, I guess. Like, if you're wearing pure white or pure black, that's generally not a very good idea if you're trying to stay hidden in the dark. The reason being is if it's dark and it's not pitch black, obviously you can see things a bit. I'm going to flick the light off, let's see how dark it gets on the camera. Obviously the camera's going to try to do some auto-exposure adjustment, you can see a bit of blue light coming in from where the window curtains are open. But, if I'm wearing this, basically what happens is, when it's dark, your eyes can't make things out in as much detail and your perception of colours doesn't get as, you know, it gets worse. So if you're looking at something, you can't distinctly make out the colours. An easy way to test that is if you look out your window at night, look at all the cars parked down the road or whatever, try and work out what the colours are. I bet it's quite difficult to actually know exactly what shade of blues and reds some of the cars are. Um, you know, and that's an actual thing that happens a lot where people can't recall the colours of certain objects when it's dark properly, because it's hard to tell. So. The thing you need to obviously realise is that the colours of things don't change when it gets dark. Your perception of them changes, which is why I flip the light back on now. Um, it's not a good idea to um, think with camouflages, I need to wear a totally different set of camouflage during the night than I would during the day. There might be a couple of exceptions to that, but for the most part, if you're in a woodland area, woodland camouflage like this is a very good idea. Um, and if it's dark, obviously, that, the colours of the camouflage are still going to fit in perfectly. The issue being, um, obviously, that they actually get better, and I've done this on the camouflage test, if I remember, I'll stick some photos from that in the video, where we are testing camouflages in the dark, or as it was getting darker, and uh, what we found is as the video went on, or we were taking the photos, the darker it got, the more effective all the camouflages seemed to get. The reason being, obviously, that as it gets darker, your eyes can't make out colours and shapes as well in the dark, especially at a distance. So then, a camouflage that looks pretty good during the day gets more and more effective as it gets dark. So, obviously, if the camouflage works well in the area during the day, with maybe with a couple of exceptions, um, when it gets dark, it's obviously going to work better. Now, the reason you don't want to be wearing black is that, obviously, black doesn't occur very often in nature, as I've said before. And the other issue is, obviously, that when it, even when it's dark, nothing is actually black. Um, there might be things your eyes might perceive as black, but they're generally not black. Even if you look at the darkest shadows during the night, it probably doesn't look pure black. Um, so if you're wearing like some sort of ninja boiler suit thing, all in black, you're going to actually stand out because your silhouette will be very obvious, especially if there's a little bit of light. I said if it's absolutely pitch black, it doesn't matter what you wear because people can't see you. But if there's a bit of light, um, you're going to look like a proper silhouette, you're going to stand out. Um, because, you know, if you're wearing a solid colour, be white or black, that's obvious. White is probably more obvious because it will catch light more, but even black isn't, you know, a good colour to wear in the dark. Your silhouette will be obvious. So as I was saying, what should you wear instead? Well, if you're going to be forced to wear one solid colour, then supposedly dark blue and dark reds and some, some shades of sort of dark purples work very well. Now, I've not had a chance to test all of those, but... From what I can see, it makes sense because they're not a solid, um, you know, co color like a solid blue is or a solid black or whatever like, thing like that. But you know, actually, I can understand why logically dark blue, purple, or dark red would work at night. Um, one thing to bear in mind is where I am as well. Often it does seem slightly red outside at night because when there's clouds over, the street lamps that reflect up will obviously hit on the clouds and it gives everything a slightly reddish hue. But that doesn't mean things are red. Now, one camo I found that doesn't work well at night, and I think this is getting back into the white aspect, is if I scroll the camera down, you notice I've got my desert trousers on. Now, the desert trousers, that's not actually white on the trousers there, that's like a light grey, and there's the sort of mid-brown on them, on the British desert camo sort of trousers. Now, the issue is that the um, dark brown, or the mid-brown, whatever you want to call it, the sandy coloured brown on the desert camo is absolutely fine at night. The issue is the um, very light grey, or whatever colour it is, like the light sand colour. As much as that would be very effective during the desert during the day, 
what hent tends to happen is that light colour will absolutely glow if there's a bit of moonlight that hits it. So I realised that when I was walking down a path that was like a muddy brown path, and these trousers actually, during the day, work quite well as camo down there, but during the night, a bit of moonlight was hit, and I thought, wow, these are glowing, these are so obvious. If somebody was looking over there, you know, those colours would shriek out at you because they're not colours that would, um, you know, it doesn't seem logical for them to be there. So, obviously, as I was saying, what colours are actually good? Well, colours like, you know, from camouflage, it would regularly work there. If you're not wearing camouflage, I rec would recommend, you know, like, greys of different darker hues, browns of darker hues, dark greens, but definitely not light greens, because light green is very obvious to the eye. But the idea is basically that, um, you know, you wear colours that fit with the environment, because I was saying your perception of colour changes during the night, but or in the dark, but not the actual colours themselves. So, the environment, like all the green leaves on the trees, and all the, um, like, you know, barks, and all the muddy colours in the woods or whatever, don't, don't suddenly become black or totally different colours at night. They're the same colours, you just can't perceive them as well. So wearing camouflage that would fit the environment naturally will appear the same in the dark. Now, as I said, camos that do have bits of black in them, like this camo does have bits of black, you can see a bit there. I'm not a massive fan of these, as I said, because modern camouflages have realised now that putting black in isn't a good idea. What you really want to do is put a darker brown there or a darker green, so it's, you know, a contrasting colour still, but it's not, it's still a colour that might naturally occur somewhere. Um, but when you've got bits of black on the middle of a camouflage like this or a DPM or whatever, they're not bad because, um, or at least at night, because, you know, it's not like the edges of you. Uh, the problem is when you're wearing an all solid thing, it will make a silhouette with bits like this, even if they're a slightly different colour than the rest of you, it's not going to matter too much. Again, disruptive materials like this, where there's actually swatch patterns on them will work well, <clears throat> simply because when people are looking at them, obviously they will appear to be more than one thing. Another good idea as well is potentially to wear different colour trousers than the top, um, or a different camouflage pattern, as long as they both fit in. As I said, don't wear anything that's going to glow in the dark like the desert trousers do. But that makes it even harder for the brain to realise that it's a solid thing, and that's the problem is, even if you're wearing a dark blue jumpsuit or whatever else, that's still, the brain will still perceive it as one block if it can see it well enough to do it, even if it's quite subconscious, so people will be aware of you. If, um, <clears throat> you know, you've got one type of camouflage trousers on that fit, and one kind of camouflage shirt or jacket on that fit, um, that are different patterns, it'll make it actually harder for the brain to realise that it's one person sort of shape. So um, what I'll try and do quickly is flick the light off and see if I can actually, I know I'm not outside and that's the environment you want to be in, but I'll see if I can demonstrate how your perception of colour might suddenly change, you know, with the lights on and off. Right here you can see the multi-terrain patterned shirt on top of the M65 jacket, so you can see essentially a proper woodland camouflage and then a multi-terrain camouflage. So let's flick the light off, and again, it's a bit too dark for the camera to pick up properly and the camera's perception of colours is not the same as the human eye's perception of colours but hopefully you can see there that both of these aren't obvious and it's hard to tell the colours of them and where you know one starts and one finishes obviously I think for being in the dark darker camouflages generally are better but don't take that to the extreme of wearing black now hopefully we'll be able to see that my white shirt is still very obvious and the desert trousers if I kneel down should be quite obvious as well at being a bit too bright there, um, which is kind of the point I'm getting at. Don't wear a solid colour because they will stand out. Um, you probably have to see I've actually got black socks on, and the socks again are really obvious that they're. You know, I'm saying that's why you don't wear full black because you'll be obviously a silhouette. But actual camouflages that work well during the day, for the most part, will work well during the night because of how light works. Flick that back on. Now you can see that they're easily two different colours of camo, but obviously during the night the human eye won't see that. Again, it's also important, like with all camouflages, that you actually know how to conceal yourself. Don't stand out in the open, don't silhouette yourself. If you're stood against the bushes or in a tree line or something like that, with camouflages on like that that actually work, um, you know, you will be pretty much invisible. As the camouflage tests I've done before have demonstrated, However, you know, if you're stood out in the open, it won't matter how good the camouflage is if you're making yourself very obvious.